Today's topic, clickbait. What the f- This episode of Awkward Anthems is brought to you by Necessary Evils. Like the thumbnail I just baited you with. Subscribe today and you'll get a 25% discount on all of our top sellers, such as Righteous Indignation, How Very Dare You, and my personal favorite, Scared to Click, but glad I did. I'm glad you clicked too. I have a love-hate relationship with clickbait. Mostly hate. And to be fair, there's nothing I really consciously love about it, but I think as human beings, we are wired to gravitate towards the sensational, the controversy, the drama. Barney was smuggling contraband? Were they Flintstone vitamins? It's a yellow circle, but maybe you can imagine that it's something else too. So I wanted to explore this concept more because while I did get a lot of positive engagement on my Legal Eagle video, there was definitely a theme to the more critical comments. And it was the implication that me leaving my job was a bad thing or that my boss was a bad person. None of which is true, but could have been interpreted that way. I wanted to share one comment in particular because it was really well written and I didn't actually disagree with it at all. L. Edwards writes, I respect the hustle, and I do get it. If you're trying to make it as a small channel, you need that initial engagement to start building subscribers. And controversy bait with a major YouTuber is a great way to pull in views. It's just, I hate that this works, you know? I hate that the internet culture we have is that engagement is prioritized above everything, and that it really doesn't matter whether that's positive or negative engagement, and that that means you're actively incentivized to get people angry and upset. Drama sells. And I think that criticism is fair. But if I could, I would like to offer my perspective as a content creator that feels somewhat shackled by the rules of the game and the challenge of striking that very delicate balance of invoking curiosity while also delivering value. In doing a little more research on this topic, I stumbled on this really fantastic breakdown by a creator that really knows how to level up his PowerPoint presentations. I mean, look at this dude. He's standing on a ladder and just teaching me stuff. In his view, there's two types of clickbait, type one and type two. Type one clickbait is really the kind you should aim for. He refers to it as legit bait. It looks enticing, sounds enticing, is enticing, and also legit. Type two clickbait is the gross kind, or as he refers to it, a click trap. What's notable though, is that we don't all agree on the definition of clickbait. And as he states, everyone's perception of words and images are different. I think type one and type two clickbait are so different that we shouldn't even use the same word for them. And I think as a content consumer myself, that's exactly how I would make the distinction too. Good clickbait for me has a great hook. It appeals to the emotional center in my brain. It makes me curious, and it might leave the door slightly open to interpretation. But it ultimately delivers because it leads me somewhere better. Bad clickbait, in my view, is so egregious in its level of deception that I end up feeling cheated, like my time was wasted. It's cheap, it's low effort, it's lazy. And most importantly, it doesn't lead me somewhere better, it leads me to disappointment. But I wanted to make this fun, so I thought I would do a little thought experiment. What if I didn't play the game at all? What if I just put up a thumbnail like this? And then I asked myself, would I click on that? Probably not. This is the internet, I have choices. So I did another thought experiment and I asked myself, would I click on that? And the answer is maybe, because Jimmy Neutron isn't real. But if Legal Eagle was an animated character, this would be a very wholesome and kind of funny comparison. So I did one more thought experiment and I asked myself, would I click on that? And the answer is absolutely yes. Like, oh my God, what did he do? That looks real bad. And I guess it is a little clickbaity, but he does deserve whatever he gets. Just good things. But he also looks like my sleep paralysis demon. So that seems very misleading and especially unkind. So I tried to strike a balance 
And this is ultimately what I landed on. And I guess it still missed the mark, but it did spark a conversation and it did inspire the video that you're currently watching. Glasses half full, people, yeah? Yeah, can I get an amen? No, okay, the people have spoken. Your hat sucks. No amens? Nope, just checking. Now I'm not suggesting that clickbait is some net good for society or that it's even required to be successful. If there's a masterclass in how to more effectively grab your eyeballs without injecting hyperbole in facial expressions or adding a little bit of ambiguity to the mix, please share with me and the rest of us in the comment section because I think there's a really interesting discussion to be had here. But this really does go back to L. Edwards' comment, and I'm paraphrasing, but clickbait exists because it works. If rainbows and sunshine and puppies got the click, rather than perceived scandal or salaciousness, well, I think we would all be better for it, and a lot of media companies would go broke overnight. But that's not the world that we live in. I mean, can we at least agree on that? Yes? Your hat still sucks. Okay. Just my two cents as a content creator on this platform who above all else really does want to deliver value. I want you to click, but I want you to feel like it was worth it. Hi, Amy from the future here. Before I wrap up this video, I just wanted to extend an even bigger thank you than the last thank you because a week ago I had less than 200 subscribers and I am now at the time of this recording at almost 60,000. And I have never been in a position where I feel like I can't individually respond to everyone. An awesome problem to have, just requiring some adjustment on my end because none of this feels real. But I am so moved by your kindness and Really excited by all of the interest in the topic of editing, which is my favorite part of the whole content creation process. So in the next video, I will be sharing some insights on what I've learned in the 20 years that I've been doing this. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, awkward and out. Put these clips in your pieces. This is my cutting floor. Whoops, forgot I wasn't alone for a second there. Sorry. Awkward and out. The drama. God. Let me take it again. Take a breath. To start build, let me just, what am I doing? I'll, I can just do it this way. He refers to it as legit pile. In how to grab your eyeballs. Jesus. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs>